Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Patch, and today I'm reading a book called Fitting In, and this is written by Haruka Aoki and John Olson. Fitting In. So you can kind of see on the cover, we've got all of these circles and then one square. Hmm. In the land of circles, no matter where you looked, everything was round. Everything was round. The people, the teacups, even the sprinkles on the cookies were round. In one house lived two circles who loved each other very much and wanted to start a family. But when their dream finally came true, something was different. Their baby was a square. What would the other circles say? Hmm. The square looks pretty happy. Look at the smile on the square's face. A special gift arrived for the little square's first birthday. Square's parents were thrilled. Now you can look like all the other circles. So look what he got for his birthday. All these different little shapes to go around to turn the square into a circle. Does he look very happy? Hmm, he's happy there. How does he look there? At school, all the circles bopped and boogied, but even with the extra shapes, square still felt different. The circles would leap and laugh and run and roll around. Look at square. But Square never really seemed to fit in. At night, Square would come home and take off the extra shapes. What a relief that was. See the extra shapes sitting there? When Square fell asleep, all kinds of shapes danced and played together. Look how happy Square looks there with the dreams that Square is having. Look at all the different shapes. I see rectangles and squares and triangles, stars and hearts, wiggles, great shapes and colors. But when the sun rose, Square woke up from the dream and put on the extra shapes ready for another lonely day at school. Each year, the circles had a big, beautiful party. I'll take pictures of the cute couples. I hope they play my favorite song, Toot Toot. I'm going to wear my new suit. Look how excited they all are. Everyone seemed excited, but Square. Will I fit into the party, Square thought? Look at Square sitting there. You'll have a lovely time, Square's parents promised. Maybe they're right. It could be fun. Square straightened the extra shapes and got ready for the party. There were circles, circles everywhere. I like Square's courage to try this. One circle took a surprise Square by the hand. Come on to the dance floor and dance with me. The party was a blast. It's your turn. Do a twirl. Square leapt into the air for a twirl, but tripped and tumbled to the floor. All of Square's extra shapes had fallen off. 
How do you think uh, Square's feeling there? Look at Square's face. One circle walked up to Square. Don't cry. I'm not a circle either. I'm a triangle. So look at this. This square is really a triangle. Look how surprised Square is. <gasps> square had no idea. I'm a diamond. I'm a star. And I'm a rectangle. We were all scared too. But thanks to you, we don't have to hide anymore. Look at this. He's kind of like a stop sign. Like the shape of a stop sign. Oh my goodness, they were all pretending. For the first time, it felt great to be a square. Pointy, squiggly, flat, or round. Look at all those shapes. And look at the smiles on their faces that they get to be who they are. The differences were what made each shape so special. All shapes are welcomed. So look at that. There are still some circles, but look at all the other shapes. But at first, they were afraid to be themselves because they were afraid they wouldn't fit in. But look what happened when they were themselves. So think about how are you treating other people in your classroom? Are you letting people be different and celebrate that and show acceptance and kindness? I hope so. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much. This was a great book, and I'll see you all later. Take care.